Well, Jared Stoll has been a busy man in the face-off circle this season. By my calculations, he's taken 1,096 face-offs, 603 of them, for a percentage of success rate of 55.18392. Well, you get the drift. So he is good over 50% of the time. Jared Stoll gives us some tips on how to win at the face-off. You watch Jared Stoll at practice. He works on his craft. You can make yourself a reliable player by doing a bunch of little things well. Stoll's ability to win face-off later in his career will extend his career, will make him a more wanted commodity. Hi, I'm Jared Stoll of the Edmonton Oilers. These are some of the things I do to help me with win my face-off. Really? Yeah, sometimes, usually face-offs are a lot of timing, a lot of strength, um, cheating, I guess. you can. Uh, it's pretty much a mixture of everything. So um, some guys are good at, at, at cheating. Some guys are good at uh, are strong on the puck. Um, I just try and, uh, you know, for timing, me and Billy Moores do, uh, do this little drill for timing. So... We just kind of go through like three or four sets of that, um, you know, forehand, backhand. Usually I take my face off on my backhand, um, you know, sometimes I switch it up depending on who I'm going against, but, and then uh, sometimes we, we go against each other too, so, get Cogs in here. His percentage isn't too good, but we'll, uh, we'll see how he does. Six down. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> And then if uh, Philly's on this side, sometimes, sometimes a lot of guys will go. Sometimes a lot of guys will go on their forehand like that. But you know, I just I try and I try and stick to my backhand. It's, uh, you know, your backhand is usually your, your strongest point. So um, if I'm winning, if I'm winning them clean, I'm having a good game. I usually just stick to my backhand and try and uh, try and you know win them win them strength, I guess, wise instead of uh, instead of timing them. But. And uh, that's yeah, that's pretty much it. Just uh, you know, it's, it's a bunch of things go into it, but you got to uh, you know time it. Um, watch the watch the watch the puck. Watch the ref. No, you know, know when he's dropping the puck, obviously, and be ready. And uh, you know, once you once you hit the puck, once you feel the puck, you gotta you know you'll go through it and uh, and try and be strong on it, and hopefully, you'll win a lot more draws uh, because of it. So.